In today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve the image quality of your webcam using OBS so you can look professional on your stream. So let's do it right now. What's going on, guys? My name is Sammy, watching the production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So right now I have OBS open and I have my webcam that I already added. Now, the webcam that I'm using is the Obsbat Meet 2. And as you can see, it's pretty dark. Now, this webcam does come with its own application, but I'm not using that application because the reason behind this video, I want to show you actually that you can do it with any webcam. OK, either it has an application that comes with it or not. Anyway, webcam this is gonna be able to work so it doesn't matter what type of webcam you have so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go under that webcam so it's gonna be right here so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna call it broadcast and then i'm gonna go ahead and click to it and go to properties okay as if we're going to add it so now under properties as you can see we're gonna go here where it says the activate so basically the activate and activating is just gonna refresh it so just click on it just to refresh a little bit and we're gonna go here where it says configure video so we're gonna click on on it and as you can see this little property tab is gonna open up and as you can see you have two uh, sections the first one is called video pro amp and the other one is is a camera control okay so we're gonna go ahead and start with camera control again we can even put this on default uh, for camera control okay so the first thing we need to do is obviously we don't need the zoom if you need to zoom in a little bit you can actually use this but we don't need it i'll say it's just have it zoomed out all the way because the more you zoom in that's digital zoom it may introduce some noise okay so we're gonna go ahead and keep the zoom at zero focus you want to make sure you choose auto focus so because again it's a webcam so you don't want to be able to focus manually and then exposure we can actually keep it at minus five let me, let me go ahead and actually increase to minus six all right so we're gonna slide it a little bit again we don't want to do too much exposure because when you add too much then it's gonna it's gonna start introducing some noise okay pan and tilt and roll we don't need this because our camera doesn't have any sort of like gimbal or to be able to like it's not a ptz camera to be able to pan and tilt and roll and things like that so you can go ahead and hit apply for the first section and we're gonna go to the second section now another thing that you guys have to do okay this is a must make sure you have enough lighting even though my webcam right now looks really really dark but i can assure you that my lighting is actually really really good so have enough light coming to my face because if your lighting sucks then your webcam image you may try to fix it but it's gonna struggle with noise anyway right so you want to make sure you have enough light in front of you we call that kit light in front of you that's coming and add as much intensity as you can handle personally because you don't want it too bright because it's gonna kill your eyes i'm gonna leave a link down below to the kit light that i'm using by the way if you guys are interested so we're gonna go ahead and go to the video pro amp section this is where we're gonna do the good stuff all right so first thing brightness you want to keep it at 50 percent that's the default contrast we want to keep it at 50 percent for now hue keep it the way it is saturation keep it the way it is white balance that's the first thing we're gonna change here we're gonna make sure the white balance matches the color temperature of our key light so now mine is actually 5600 so we're gonna go ahead and move the slider to 5600 kelvin and that's gonna make sure you know we're getting the right white balance okay now another thing is we're gonna go to to sharpness afterwards and in the key setting here we're gonna move is gonna be our gain so we're gonna move our gain a little bit just to make sure we have an image that looks good so as you can see as we move our gain we are actually getting something good let me just show you the big picture here we are actually getting a picture that looks really really good so we can move the gain up to something like 11. again you don't want to do too much okay because if you do too much you're going to introduce some noise and as you go you want to look into the image look and see if you're getting any sort of noise and as you can see there's no noise so let's say around nine looks good to me and then we can go up here where it says contrast because as you can see the image is kind of washed out so we're gonna go ahead and move the contrast to something like 56 actually a little more i would say even like something like 91 
R91 is too much. So let's put it at maybe somewhere around 80. So as you can see at 80, it really, really looks good. Okay. Now the next thing, as you can see, the image is kind of too sharp. All right. So what we need to do is we need to kind of reduce the sharpness a little bit, put it at uh, 30 something until we see, you know, kind of not too sharp. It looks not too sharp. So this kind of looks to me, again, you don't want to reduce too much because now the image is going to become too soft. So this kind of looks good to me. Now what I can do for the contrast looks good. White balance is good. Sharpness, saturation, because the problem with saturation, if you add too much, you see it's going to change the entire image. Your skin tone is going to look weird. So saturation, you want to keep it actually, even if it's possible, they say around 50 or a little bit under 50. So I'll say maybe let's put it at 50 and be happy with it. All right. So as you can see, the image looks really good. The contrast is right. Again, maybe a tiny bit of contrast. Then what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of brightness. Just to make sure the image is bright enough and increase the contrast again. And again, this to me, it looks really really good yeah so guys this is really really perfect as you can see the skin tone is right as you can see the image the contrast i mean like the uh, softness or the sharpness saturation everything is perfect all right so what you need to do is again you hit apply make sure every single change that you do you just hit apply and hit OK. Now you can do a quick refresh, go to deactivate and activate again. And as you can see, our image is looking good. Make sure your resolution is 1920 by 1080. Now, if you want to do 4K, that's up to you. Depends on your computer. FPS 30 frames per second and click OK. And as you can see, our webcam is looking really, really good. Now, guys, one of the problems with webcams is because they have a tiny sensor, the background is going to be showing. And sometimes, depending on what you have in the background, it may be kind of distracting. And if you want to find a good way to actually blur it out, your background I have another video that i made showing you exactly how to do that. The video is going to be linked right here. So check it out and I'll see you there, guys. Take care.